Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to talk about how to make a bag insert for your Chanel Mini Rectangular. If you got a Chanel Mini Square, then the measurement from this video will not work. However, the same principle applies, so you can still make one for your Square Mini. Um, I bought this bag in 2014 and I made this from day one. Um, it's just made out of ordinary paper to protect the interior and I would highly recommend you to use paper that is slightly on the thicker side so if you work in an office you will know what I mean by paper on the thicker side um, because if you print something from the ordinary printer the paper tends to be on the thinner side like the one I've got at the moment today um, but if you've got companies um, letterhead of paper they tend to be on the thicker side and this bag insert that I've made is made out of that paper that type of thickness. Um, the reason for that is it just makes it a little bit more durable. Um, like I said, I've got this bag in 2014 and this is still going really strong. Um, okay, so let's start. Because I've already made this one, so I'm going to use this as a prototype and use a measurement. Um, like I said, I've already got the measurement here. Um, I will put it down on the description box. For the purpose of this um, video, I'm going to use a marker pen so you can see exactly what I'm doing on the paper. But if you are making your own one, then do use a pencil or a borrow pen. You do need a ruler and also two pieces of paper. So I'm going to leave one piece of paper aside. Just to explain, this back insert is actually made out of the flap, the back, the bottom and the front of the insert is actually made out of one piece of paper. The second piece of paper is for making the sides and also the pocket inside the um, back insert. So just think about the Louis Vuitton Speedy, um, it's the same principle. So using the first piece of paper, what we want is from the top of the piece of paper, we're going to use the ruler on the left-hand side, okay, slightly on the left-hand side, and we want to measure the flap, the height of the flap first, and this measures 6.5 centimeters. So from the top, put a little mark there. From that next point, we want to mark the height of the insert for the back and this is 7.5 centimeters from that point onwards you want to mark the bottom of the bag which is four centimeters and then from that point you then want to mark the height of the flap but for the front and that is 8.5 centimeters. The reason why the front is slightly higher than the back is because this insert needs to fit inside the zipper pocket. Now, if you want to make the front the same height as the back, that is not a problem. I left it slightly higher, taller. It's because I thought I want to protect the um, leather just a little bit more. But um, if you want to make it the same height, it's not, the, it's not a problem. Okay, from there onwards, what I'll do is okay, it's um, do the same marking but slightly on the right hand side. So, from here, I will do 6.5 for the flap and then 7.5 for the back, and then from that point, four centimeters for the bottom. And then from that point on with 8.5 for the front of the insert. Next thing, next thing we want to do is to measure the width of the insert. So we talk about here. Okay, the width is about 18.2 um, centimeters. So in the middle of the um, paper, just mark it. Now I've got a 15 centimeters um, ruler, so I'm going to mark a small mark for 15 and then add an extra 3.2. So this is my main one. Do the same thing for slightly at the bottom end of the um, piece of paper. Okay. 
and I'll probably do one just at the top. The reason for that is then you can draw a straight line and don't worry if it's not 100% straight, okay? Um, we're not asking for perfection, we just want something that works for our, for our bag, okay? So we know this bit can be cut out, okay? Now, next bit is to mark another line at the bottom. Remember the fourth marking? After we mark the um, um, front of the insert, the bottom can also be cut out, okay? Now, next thing I would do is to mark this flap. This flap in terms of the width, okay, is not the same as the whole back insert. The reason for that is because the shape, the size needs to fit inside the zipper pocket. So from the edge, I mean the, the flap itself to the edge is about two centimeters. So we go to the top of the piece of paper again, okay, and from the first edge, okay, from the edge of the paper, mark two centimeters, okay, and because we know the first dot represents the height of the flap, so from that dot, you can draw a line, okay, you can mark that as to be cut. Same principle, so we have the dot, it needs to be two centimeters from the edge. Okay. And you know this part can be. At this point, I realized my first marking on the left hand side is slightly out by one centimeters. Now what we're going to do is, we're going to fold this up, um, but before we're going to do that is, I'm going to cut the part that I don't need, so I'm going to do that. Okay, I will leave those two for the time being because it makes it easier for folding the um, insert into shape. So first of all, remember those markings that you've got? Okay. At this moment, don't worry about which way you fold it. Just fold it, okay? Just fold it at one direction, it doesn't matter, it makes no difference. And then the second marking, okay? The two dots, the, the flowing two dots, do the same thing. Okay, finally, the um, third dot, is it the third one? Yes, the third one. Again, do the marker. Okay. Now, I will then cut out the, um, the bit that we don't need. Okay. To create the shape of the flap. Now what we need to do is, can you see the shape of the um, bag insert is actually in the making, but what you need to do is this flap, you just need to fold it backward this time. Like I said, the first time when you fold it, it doesn't matter which way you fold it, but after you've finished, the flap just needs to go backward. And can you see the shape of the um, 
bag insert is in the making. I'm not sure if I can show it to you in a nice way. But there you go. Yeah. So the next thing we want to do is get your second piece of paper. And this time we want to make the back pocket within the insert. Okay. Now, what I would do is, I mean, from here onwards, it should be relatively easy. What I'll do is, I will half this piece of A4 paper just to make it easier for myself. Um, okay. So what you need to do is to line up the second piece of paper to the bottom of your um, insert the back I'm talking about okay but if you want to do the measurement it's not a problem so like I said the insert height for the back is 7.5 centimeters and I will highly recommend you to leave about one centimeters ie what I mean by that is you don't have the back pocket um, the same height as the back of the insert so in this instance I will call it 6.5 centimeters um, so this is what I'm going to do but if you want to do it freehand you can also do that it's not a problem okay so I marked it there okay and what you would then need to do is to line up your piece of paper to the edge and then just mark where it should finish okay and basically this forms the shape of your um, pocket now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go to draw a line just to give me a guidance on where to cut So this is what I mean, once you seal it with sellotape, okay, that is your pocket for money, card or for whatever we, um, whatever you want to put inside. Now the second thing we want to do is to then make the side, okay. Now what I'll suggest is the width of the side is about 4 centimeters, but you want to leave at least 1 centimeter extra to be able to go over the, um, the edges so then you can actually use sellotape to seal it up. Okay. So again, if you're going to do it freehand, you can actually measure okay, the height. So you put your piece of paper against your insert and against the bottom of the insert from the back, okay, you know exactly where that point should be and you can mark it. But if you don't want to do it freehand, that's not a problem. So the insert, the height of the insert of um, for the back is 7.5 centimeters. So you just mark it, okay, edge to edge. And we'll mark the few more points and then a few more points. Okay. And then just use a ruler, mark a line so we know this bit we can cut. Okay. From the edge, like I said, you will need one centimeter per edge to create that extra um, flap to for you to be able to seal the sides together. So from the edge of the piece of paper, mark one centimeter. From that point, mark four, which is four centimeters, which is the width of the um, side. And then from that point, mark one again. So then what you need is to mark the 
the lines, so draw a line, okay? Same principle because we want to make two sides, so from the third line that you marked, okay? Use your ruler, mark one centimeters. From that point onwards, four centimeters. From that point onwards, mark one centimeters. Same principles. Draw a line. Okay. Now we can then cut this. Now, with so many lines, just be careful you're not cutting the wrong lines, okay? So first of all, what I'm going to do is I'll cut this one first. Okay, so I get rid of the paper that we don't need. Next, I'm going to cut the piece of paper to create the height for the side. Again, where I've marked it. Now, finally, this bit. You've got one, two, three, four, five. If you include the, the last one, it's six lines. So you want to mark, so you want to cut the third line, okay, from the third line. So you've got two edges, okay? Now what you need to do is to fold the lines, fold the lines, do the same. Fold the lines again, okay? And I'll put it all the other way just to make it look nicer. Now, if I show you what I mean, once you sellotape it, okay, can you see the prototype of your um, back insert is in the making? So next should be the easy part is sellotape. I prefer using masking tape simply because um, it's easier to work with, but I don't actually have any masking tape at the moment, so I'm going to use sellotape. So first of all, we got to seal our pocket to our insert. Make sure you're not sealing it to the wrong side of the insert. So when you have your piece of paper flat like this, remember it's to seal it to the um, sellotape it to the side where you have the flat. So line this up. Okay. So line this up to the bottom edge to the bottom of the um, insert okay. and sorry when I say to the bottom of the insert I mean can you remember the bit that we folded to form what is the back of the insert the bottom of the insert and the front of the insert. So when I say line it up, I mean the bottom of the back insert, okay? So line that up. I'm sure you guys know what I mean, but I just want to make it clear. And just sellotape it, okay? And what we need to do is do the same thing for the side. Now, just be really mindful, okay? When you do sellotape, sellotape this part, don't sellotape all the way to the end here. The reason for that is then it means that when you open your pocket, it makes it rather difficult. So tape it from the top of the pocket, okay? Not from the flap here. I'm talking about from here. This is what I mean. Seal it up to this point. Okay. Seal it up to this point here. Okay, not from this point, not from this point. Okay. Do the same for the other side. Okay. 
and your pocket for your back insert is ready to be used. And I'll show you what I mean. Where the sellotape is, sorry. Can you see it, where the sellotape is? Okay. Next is to do the side. Oh, one more thing I forgot to say is, make sure you sellotape every single hole. Okay. Because you don't want holes, otherwise your coin's going to fall out. So sellotape all the edges. Next is obviously sellotape your side. So this is going to be the most fiddly part out of the whole making of the bag, simply because it's the final, final part. Okay. So get some sellotape. For the first one, it's going to be rather easy. So put the sellotape on one edge first. Okay, just because it makes it easy. Now, because the height is the same height as the back, so I've got to start off from sellotaping, sellotaping the back. So make sure you line up the back insert in terms of A, the height, and B, the edge as well. Because you folded this, um, folded the flap up already for for the um, for the side already, so it's going to make it easy for you to then line it up. You can just follow that fold line. So that side is done. Okay. And fold it again. The next is to seal this folded flap to the other side of the insert, okay, to the front of the insert. Okay. I find it easier to put the sellotape on the flap, this bit here, and then just push the flap to the front of the insert where you need to sellotape. Just remember, line up the bottom, okay? Then finally, you've got this hole. This hole, we just need to sellotape that as well. Okay. And like I said, I make it, I think it's easier if you just put your sellotape at one end first where you want to sellotape and then just push the paper or the edges to where you want to meet the sellotape and then just the sellotape, just mark it like this okay. like this do you see? it's perfect To make it a little bit more robust, you can add obviously more sellotape to it. So this is what I'm going to do. Okay. And I'm going to do it for the other side as well. That should make the side or the bottom of the side pretty robust. But like I said, if you want to add extra sellotape, it's not going to be a problem. And this is pretty perfect. Okay, now we need to do the other side as well. The other side is going to be slightly difficult because you can't really move 
this piece of paper too much, otherwise you could damage it. But again, same principle. Put the sellotape on the flap, okay? And then from the back of the insert, measure it, i.e. height to height, edge to edge. Oops. And then sort of take it. Okay. Then you want to do the same thing. Again, put the sellotape on the flap, the bit where you folded, and then measure it from height to height, or should I say, to the bottom, okay? And then seal it this way, okay? Then sealing the bottom. Oops, need another one. Okay. And simply push this edge to the sellotape. And then Put the sellotape in. You might want to push it from the inside just to make it a little bit more um, robust and also make sure the piece of paper is actually sealed, is actually, um, the sellotape actually um, take the other side. That's some more sellotape. Do the same thing for the other side. Okay. And your bag insert for your mini rectangular is finished. So now what we want to do is to put this inside the mini. Okay. And I'll show you how to put this inside your mini. First of all, Your zipper pocket, okay, your zipper pocket here needs to be open. Now, once you put this bag insert inside, it means that your second pocket, the second um, pocket inside your mini cannot be used. Um, if you want to use both pockets, then by all means, change the flat size, i.e. the size of this flap, change the height of the back of the bag insert to fit inside the non-zipper pocket, okay? But in this instance, I'm gonna use the zipper pocket. To be honest, I never use my pockets anyway, so um, it makes no difference to me. Okay. This is gonna be the most fiddly pit bit, putting this inside, so what I'll suggest is, your back insert, make sure the flap is down. When you insert this, make sure you insert it. Okay. Pull the chain out a little bit. And then insert this slowly. One more thing I will also recommend is for each corners, just use your thing, finger and push it in because it's quite sharp but once you push it in it is less sharp and I actually think it will make the um, 
make it easier to insert this in paper insert into your bag. So this is what I'm going to do. Let's do it slowly, okay? Once you get to this bit, make sure you line up the flap to your zipper pocket and slowly tuck this piece of flap inside the zipper pocket because otherwise um, it will make it rather difficult for you to then try to insert the flap into the zipper pocket once your insert is inside the bag. So let me show you what I mean. Now my flap is inside the zipper pocket now, okay? And once that is done, all you have to do, oops, <laughs> all you have to do is just slide this inside the flap bag, inside the bag. And as you can see, it's not lined up properly, but it's not a problem. Just use your hand and tuck the corners to corners of the bag. And there you go, that is your um That is your bag insert. Oops. Next we want to do is insert the in bag insert inside the Chanel Mini. Now you want to make sure your zipper pocket is open. Okay. Now I don't use my second pocket, this slip pocket, the, um, the one with no zipper, so it makes no difference to me. However, if you want to use this pocket as well, then you will need to adjust the flap um, size and the height of the back insert to fit inside the um, non zippered zip pocket. So, non zip slip pocket, okay? But because I don't use it, so um, for the purpose of this video, um, the height of the flap and the size is to fit inside the zipper pocket. Now, fitting this inside can get rather fiddly. And also one more thing I would highly recommend is the corners, the four corners. Use your fingers, push it all in because then it, it is less sharp and it makes it easier, okay, to then fit inside or should I say when you're trying to insert this into your bag. So what I'll do is I'll pull the chain a little bit. And then slowly insert this inside the bag. Don't insert the whole thing inside the bag just yet. Simply because you want to line up your flap into into the um, inside the um, zipper pocket. If you actually insert the whole bag insert inside the bag before you've got your flap inside the zipper pocket, it will make it rather difficult to then for you to try and get the flap inside the zipper pocket. So first of all. Put the in, put the back insert inside the bag first, but don't don't push it all all the way down to the bag, and then from there line up your flap and insert part of it inside your zipper pocket. Okay. Yeah, it's inside already. Then now. Push it in and use your hand and just get the corners all tucked in. Okay. And that is your back insert. Is in there already? Okay. 
and this one that I've just made okay fits inside perfectly now like I said try to use paper that is slightly on the thicker side because this one is really flimsy this paper so once I inserted that inside the bag it, it, it seems to want to pull everywhere it doesn't seem to want to just stay in one place so do get paper that is slightly on the thicker side but in terms of the pocket here okay um, you can put your cash coins um, card and then that leaves your main pocket for other things so if you are going out in the evening you don't want to um, carry your a wallet or a, um, the Louis Vuitton clay then you can just put money inside this pocket. Now the reason why I have this extra flap is because when I was making this bag insert, I thought to myself, well, how do I A, stop the insert moving around because obviously it's made out of paper so it's rather lightweight. Um, sorry, weight, <laughs> lightweight as in um, <laughs> the weight is rather light. And two is if I am to put coins, I mean obviously cards, um, notes they're not on the heavy side but when it comes to um, coins okay how do I stop this from tilting forward because coins tend to be on the heavier side so how do I stop the back of the insert from tilting forward so then I thought about making this extra flap to go inside the back pocket so then it stop it from going like tilting forward so this is the reason why I've made this bag insert with the flap to go inside the zipper pocket. I hope this video helps you guys and if there's any questions then do send me a message and I will try to answer them as quick as possible. Um, if you do like this video then please click like and subscribe and thank you for watching. I just want to show you the original bag insert that I've made out of paper that is slightly thicker and how it looks inside the mini because I think it's actually much better because the paper is less flimsy compared to the one that I've made for this video and this is why I highly recommend you to buy paper that is slightly thicker. Once again thank you for watching and if you do like this video then please click like and subscribe. See you guys next time. Bye!